back to my YouTube channel Elliot Wave Principal. I'm your host Shaheen. Gold has moved significantly. So have silver, euro, and dollar index. So have done GDX. So we're gonna analyze these markets and see and see where we can find our edge and make some money. <laughs> and uh, in today's video, we are going to analyze gold. I have uh, two different charts that I want to show you. So we're gonna definitely look into gold, silver. We'll analyze the euro. Uh, Canadian dollar we'll analyze I'll make a small comment and then we'll do definitely do British pound after that we'll check it uh, let's have a look after that we can go for dollar index itself right over here and then GDX and in the end we can do some cryptocurrency as well that will include uh, Bitcoin ripple and we'll also look at ethereum so let's get started today so gold has thanks god moved finally significantly uh, we have been waiting for this move for a very good while right now and before it could move it has made another price movement going down that world all right so i have been considering this price movement as wave a wave b and wave c and then we have considered this as wave a wave b wave c right over here another a b and c so it's up to you if you want to make we haven't seen a new top created so if you want it's up to you if you want to consider wave one and two or you can consider it as w uh, this as w x y x and z and they are all being blocked at the same resistance line or you think it will be a little too much then then you can consider this as wave one and wave two furthermore if you can drop a trend line it comes uh, on the trend line as well so this is also a clue right or right over here so it's up to you what you want to do uh, we have one thing to be sure and that's what I have that the whether where the correction completed right over here here or here we have seen a significant price movement downward this is the similar price movement that we have been waiting for sharply down I was kind of expecting probably a hundred dollar move that did not happen so far but still in last three days of the trading gold fell off about seventy dollar an ounce and good enough for us to increase our confidence in our bearish outlook on gold i have been bearish on gold and i am still bearish on gold there are a couple of possibilities that we have on um, in gold uh, personally i hate i literally hate uh, alternate counts because using alternate counts i can i can make you believe that I'm a very good electrician I can give you three four uh, alternate uh, wave counts but the point is that what's the point of giving three four possibilities if you cannot like if can I give you three four possibilities and can you will you be able to turn that into a uh, into a trading logic imagine I, I'm telling you that prices are gonna make gonna go side waves may gonna go up may gonna da go down so what, what are you gonna do with that information so I'll try to keep it as mm, uh, the alternate counts as minimum as possible. So here I'm looking at it. There are a couple of possibilities that we discussed in our previous video, and that we are either gonna go go in this region right over here, and that will be wave one, two, another wave one and two, or the other possibility is that we are gonna go further down all the way, and that will complete a flat correction starting from this top wave A, wave B, and wave C. And I clearly stated in my previous analysis that all of that is dependent on the how the prices are going to act. So far, the prices have re reacted very uh, vigorously, and I'm expecting that this is behavior is going to continue for a few days at least. So, next few days, I'm expecting that we'll continue a similar behavior. And uh, if you look, if you are uh, following fundamental analysis, the NFP has has projected a huge. Uh, it's kind of developing a trend right now in last two months we have seen almost nearly a million uh, jobs being increased in this uh, US economy mm, a million e million per month that is almost 950,000 ish I would say the uh, all the other rest of the leading indicators for the economy I think I'm talking about I guess SEM probably is also expect unexpectedly positive for, for a few people but of course if you are looking forward then of course that we call a vaccination the economy is opening again and of course it's negative for gold uh, whatever the if you, if you want to look towards the inflation that's your decision but for now we do not see any 
uh, fear of inflation uh, being reflected on the chart. So it looks like the investors are totally ignoring the inflation side of the market analysis. So I'm bearish on gold. I'm uh, bearish on silver as well. Let's first of all continue this. So on this chart, I have considered this price movement as a leading diagonal wave 1 and wave 2 and I'm considering that this price behavior is going to continue more likely we're going to hit probably 1455 and then probably a correction so I'm my whole focus is toward this price movement right now if prices fall right over here and we kind of wait a little and that will be an indication that uh, 1600 1595 is our target and then we'll decide more when prices reach right over here so let's have a look at silver once again i'm bearish if you want to use the stop loss right now if you have stop loss right over here you can comfortably bring the stop loss right over here and if stop this one gets carried off like this one get gets knocked off that means there is significant significantly something wrong with our analysis let's have a look at silver Silver has done amazingly. We have done, seen a lot of pressure, negative pressure, bearish pressure from silver. Our stop loss was supposed to be around 26.76. We still prices are still away from it, and we have seen a huge drop. If your prices were, uh, you can bring it right over here, or you can keep it right over here. I'm believing that when gold is going to go down, we are going to go see first target for silver is right over here, 21.82, which does not seem far enough now. And the next target, of course, we are looking for somewhere around in this region, which is 1716 region. So our first target is in 2182. And the next target is this one. I stay bearish on silver. And I guess I can put my stop loss still at 2677. Or I can bring it back. That's made you, your decision. Euro have done some kind of labeling. Lots of people don't seem to uh, get my very open um, analysis of... Uh, um, and I normally leave labeling open very open so here I have done have uh, tried my best so from this uh, about 2016 bottom I'm considering this whole price movement as an impulsive move wave 1 and I'm considering this a flat correction wave A right over here wave B and then wave C I believe that will complete the flat correction and then we will start going up <clears throat> this kind of gives you some clue once again this is a cycle degree cycle degree correction a b c within a b c we are right now completing a five wave structure because this is a three wave structure another three wave structure so we are expecting a double bottom right around right around here we have completed probably wave one already wave two and then right now we are going through wave three wave three is right gonna, gonna go over here just because you jump for all the target hold on because I need to discuss a little more so we are expecting wave 3 round right over here wave 4 and wave 5 this is what we expect now within this blue circle wave 3 we have also 5 wave structure I'm expecting that we'll have wave 1 right over here and then prices will go back around here retesting this range probably or this top double double uh, bottom that is occurring so prices will initially come out and then probably retest that area that will give us wave 1 and 2 of this red and then we have stronger wave 3, f 4 and 5 that will complete this wave 3. Uh, so once right now I am bearish uh, on the chart. So we, I'm right now looking at price further stronger price movement downward in, in Euro. What happens after that is we'll discuss about that. Canadian dollar is, uh, is a little tricky right now. Uh, the reason is because I was expecting some sort of bearish strength and then we have not seen that if you go for traditional analysis there is a possibility that we are actually we are heading this way if this price movement is complete only problem is I'm not yet sure I'm not yet sure from this top to this bottom whether the price movement is complete or not so uh, let's you're looking at it I kind of following to look at the yearly time cycle as well in in Canadian dollar so this is still in progress I'll have a look let's have a look at a daily time frame what you're looking for right now so my point right now right over here is if this price movement is complete then we are definitely going to go down we are expecting a deeper correction the whole 
point that's confusing me is whether we have completed this price movement or not. If we can draw a trend line, there's a good possibility that we can actually easily draw a trend line. But sometime wave four, wave B, this could be wave A, B, and then prices could make all double bottom creating a C as well. So with this is wave A, wave B, and wave C. This phenomenon could occur easily, right? I'm, whole co I'm considering this price movement as wave A, wave B, and wave C on a similar portion. So I'm right still now I'm waiting for Canadian dollar because uh, there is a good possibil possibility that we might see actually a reversal. So I'm staying neutral on, on Canadian dollar till I see some further more price action. Uh, I am still neutral on Canadian dollar. British pound has not moved as much as Joro. Uh, I stay bearish on uh, British pound. This is what our we forecasted uh, that we are going to go down. And then we have gone down, but not significantly as we have seen a personal price behavior in gold and silver and Joro. So once again, I'm considering this whole price movement as wave one, and this is as wave two. I believe there's more price action downward, which my chart somehow missed it. So I believe there is some more price action downward as well. So anyway, this is wave one. I'm considering this whole once again as wave A, wave B, and wave C, creating a base for the prices to move upward. Right now, within uh, that huge chart, we have, I believe, completed wave B already. We have already double top right over here and we have already a double top with this one as well so we have larger to two tops and within this top we have also seen two tops so we are clearly bearish on uh, on on the cable or British pound and this trend line is really helping us see things much better way so you can have a little more confidence now you can put your stop loss right over here in this region. Better to put right right over here. I have a very teeny tiny uh, trade. I just wanted to have a taste of the uh, the cable. Otherwise, if all the currencies, if dollar and index and gold is moving actually opposite to each other, then it's basically one trade. I am not considering it as two trades. Let's have a look at dollar index before we can go somewhere else. Uh, let's have a look at dollar index. So dollar index has moved significantly. It's just showing the same pattern that we have seen on Joro. It has uh, actually showing on on a smaller time frame we have com kind of completed wave one, wave two, and then prices are heading down, heading up. I'm expecting a similar behavior that prices would go up, that would complete a wave one, and will fall down uh, to create wave two, and then of course wave three, four, and five. So this is what I'm expecting in dollar index, and I'm. I'm bullish on the dollar index itself. That means I'm bearish on the currencies in the dollar index basket. Let's have a look at GDX. GDX has actually uh, it, our analysis on GDX has turned exactly right. Look, we have almost created a double bottom with previous bottom right now. We have not even seen the similar behavior uh, from from gold. If I can see that. Uh, dollar in, sorry GDX is more bearish as compared to dollar I mean keep on saying dollar I mean gold itself let's have a look at gold itself I wanna uh, go back to gold and see actually not much difference this is also very close to the previous uh, very intermediate bottom that we created and then GDX is also presenting a similar behavior so it's pretty much close. There's only teeny tiny difference, not a big issue. I have been bearish on GDX and I'm still more bearish. We have seen a huge drop in the last three days. Very good. It went from 35.84 to 32.94. Uh, I think somewhere around uh, probably 4 to 5% drop probably in the uh, in GDX. So anyhow, I'm still bearish on GDX. We are expecting prices to go further down. The only issue is that this is completely new uh, pattern for me. I have not kind of seen so we can see uh, as far as the resistance points or target points is concerned. So if you look at this pattern, let me hello. If you look at this pattern, then prices went fell off. It was actually this previous low. And right now, our initial target is definitely going to be right over here, which is 22.98. And this is going to be very, very quick. 
and I wanted to point out it on gold chart and I missed it and uh, let's have a look so if you look at the chart the the sort of movements I'm interested in if you look at this chart right now we can just divide this chart starting from this bottom very easy to some movement right over here we have one movement right over here another block right over here we have another clear block of price movement right over here another one right over here another one right over here right over here so you get the point I'm interested in these uh, sharper price movements uh, the side wave movement which actually went through it gave us a lot of uh, headache and we still stuck with our analysis not that I was stubborn just because the price was saying that it's gonna be bearish and uh, what else we have we have done GDX and dollar index let's have a quick look on the Bitcoin so Bitcoin right now is somewhere trading around 44,500 somehow my chart is not really updated uh, right now Bitcoin is trading at 44,500 the broker that I am with is not actually sending the data on weekend so this is why you are seeing the gap so it definitely has moved out of the uh, previous stop does that mean it's bullish no we have seen a similar price and another thing that has also broken the top trend line as well and we have seen a similar behavior in gold where the prices actually went beyond the trend line and then fell back within the territory so I'm still not bullish on Bitcoin uh, let's have a look on a four level chart so we can see two blocks right now this block is very important if prices are right now trading around 45,000 I'm expecting there's a good possibility since it has already come out of the block there's a good possibility we're gonna see somewhere around 46,800 46,900 and then probably there will be chances once again I'm right now bullish on uh, on Bitcoin the price has gone a little more deeper than we expected I'm still kind of uh, gonna need gun I'm going to wait on the price right now before I can give a bearish call on Bitcoin so I'm waiting for for more price data and my press data is that couple of signals that I'm waiting I'm waiting for this support line to be broken and another wait and thing is I'm waiting for prices to fall below thirty seven thousand dollar right over here and that will be in giving an indication that we are still in the bearish trend as a whole my whole focus or my whole uh, uh, focus toward is bearish trend I'm expecting that we are still in the bearish trend and uh, right now that we have seen although it has come out of I'm thinking is gonna be a bullish uh, trap for lots of traders so but a confirmation is needed before we can actually trade that trading setup and that confirmation would come when prices would fall below this trend line uh, remember that we are if we uh, drop a uh, Fibonacci from the top and bottom uh, in between top and bottom we are thinking that prices are actually heading towards 50 percent which actually is right over here previous bottom so I'm still gonna wait for, for a few days few more days and then I will wait for the bearish uh, confirmation before I can go bearish so we are seeing a similar behavior in Ethereum we can drop a top to bottom kind of uh, Fibonacci tool and we can see the prices actually heading towards the 50 percent area right over here on a week on a daily time frame there is a possibility we might actually hit the area 3100 3200 so let's see what happens once again uh, since uh, we ethereum is following price action on btc we're gonna wait our uh, we're gonna wait for btc to give us a bearish confirmation signal at that point we'll be more confident if you are like my content please push the thumbs up button thank you so much for viewing have a good one and bye bye